everybody, my name is Castastrophe. Of course, you know, before we could do our normal intro, I got this a couple weeks ago, but you know, um, Divine Indigo Jewelry, because you know, you, you need to buy some Divine Indigo Jewelry. If you're a guy, buy it for your girlfriend, your sister, your mother, I don't care, buy it for, buy it for yourself if you, if you, if you want to, you know, embrace your femininity the minute that word buy it for yourself but by jove buy some divine indigo jewelry that's all i gotta say about that anyway to celebrate tomorrow you all know what tomorrow is right that's right tomorrow is the fourth the son of a bitch that's right tomorrow My brain went on a vacation, <laughs> god damn it. So yes, tomorrow is the premiere of the fourth season of Ghosts. Y'all know I like me some Ghosts, right? That's like my favorite show. And the fact that it's coming back tomorrow, or probably today, because once I upload this video, it'll be tomorrow. But you know, today's Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, tomorrow's the, the premiere of season four, and I'm, I am stoked. Uh, so yeah, to, to celebrate that, we're going to be playing fucking playing. No, we're going to be playing Cozy Groove because obviously, you know, I didn't want a scary game. Because if you think about it, the ghosts aren't scary in that. Well, no, heavy is though. But but they're really not scary. Like you know, most of these horror ghost games, they give you the scary ass ghost. Nah, the ghost on CBS show, no, they they not scary one bit. Let's just start the game, Castastrophe. Please shut up and just start the game. Animals and harvestable plants have preferences. Oh, I didn't, um, I didn't get to finish that. Speak with Ranger, oh, Lottie, hee <laughs> hee. You're stuck seeing a hidden item. Okay, I will, I will do that. Also, forgot to mention, I baked some cookies today. So I made the cookie dough last time. While that's loaded, I'm going to tell you all this. I made the cookie dough last night. I baked these cookies today. And, oh, I, I wasn't done telling y'all about my cookies. Let, hold on a sec. Hold, hold on a second, Spirit Scouts. Cookies. We're gonna, I'm gonna try one in like two seconds. Because I'm curious of how the hell it'll taste. I guess I just, I made the dough last night. And I gotta, um, got, oh god, I'm nervous. <laughs> I shouldn't because I made these, but you know. What the fuck? These are good. Um, I wasn't expecting these to be as good as they are. Um, okay, sorry. Um, welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Do I look like shit, though? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, I can make my- okay. Now, I'm pale as shit. Just so we're clear on this, I am pretty fucking pale. What is- oh, it's all said the same thing. When the Spirit Scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've lived within. Okay. I'm pretty fucking pale. We'll go with that one. Now I have some dark at eyes. I wish I had some pretty blue eyes like my boyfriend. He- my boyfriend got some beautiful ass eyes. Wish they look, but no, I got the dark ass black looking eyes. Um, yeah, that's what I look like. Okay, I'm gonna apologize to y'all about that. Um, father called me, needed me for something, and uh, well, then I realized I hadn't eaten that except for like that one cookie, which I'm gonna have some more of that too because that that was pretty damn good. Um, so I made myself some food, and yeah, that, that's why it took me for freaking ever to get back to this shit. Uh, let's find something that looks similar to my hair. Yeah, that's pretty close. Mine's, uh... It's between these two. And honestly, I like this better. It's, it, I don't have light brown hair, but you know. Yeah, that's the closest thing to my hair, so, yep, it's this one. Looking good! Sweet! We looking good, guys. Am I still recording? I am. Good. 
Now it's time to begin your camping trip. It is. Oh, dude, that's the time it is. We're like, <laughs> what? Hold on. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, and that's actually the date. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, Welcome to the islands of Cozy Grove. Thank you. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Okay. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. I will do my best. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. I'm gonna die. Have fun and keep your fire burning scouting services. Um, Spirit Scout Moto, all those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, so what do I do? How do I move with this? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so W-A-S-D, element O-P. So there's a, um, a mound of dirt of disturbed earth, diggable with the shovel. I don't have a shovel. Well, shit. This sucks. What about you? Calf, calf, calf. Oh. Okay, Flaby. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. Sorry. So where have you- where have you brought us this time? Um... A haunted bear-infested island, some place called Cozy Grove. I'm a little disoriented. I'm gonna do this one. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. Okay. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary uh, excursion. Ah, oh, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? M maybe? I, um, I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say I think so. Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go, introduce yourself. What if I don't want to? After all, you're here to help. What if I don't want to, though? All right, fine. Uh, you're now Scout rank 1. Okay, so apparently she- Can I look at this? I don't want to, but I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna look up- Okay, so apparently I gotta go up here. Are you the Ghost Ranger, bitch? Oh, it's a bear. Oh, no, that's a bear. That's a bear. What the fuck? Oh. Huh? Another imaginary camper? Wait, um, that ain't no- Huh? I had to listen to my choker. It was way too tight. Um, I got another cookie because that shit good. Huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless... Say, you're not a real living person, are you? I am. How did you know? Um, guilty as charged, or yes, yes I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Can Camp Cozy Grove. Thank you, Lottie Pine. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. Oh, it's raining. What the fuck? If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Why is it raining? Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. Why, why is it raining, Charlotte? That does change the forecast a bit. Pl puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Is that why it's raining? What do you have against spirit scouts? Um. Um. I gotta ask that. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. I'm not? Okay. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summons a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Was it me? Oh, um, ho hold on, we gotta know. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize to Bree for a second, cause, uh, 
had to take off my Divine Indigo jewelry. I couldn't get it set on correctly. It felt too tight and I couldn't get it loosened up to where I needed it to be. But at least, you know, by Divine Indigo jewelry, I just, yeah. You know, it was being a hassle after, you know, helping him. I had to, like, take it off to help my father put it back, and it just, it didn't go back on when I put it back on. Back to what, okay, so we have some bears looking at this guy, chick girl person here. It did not go as planned. Well, no use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Okay. Find it and toss it onto the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Charlotte Pine is now your acquaintance. Um, Charlotte Pine's memory. So I gotta find... How do I find logs though? Like, took this? Yeah. No. She says there's a little blob, but where the fuck is the log? Lo Charlotte, Lottie, I'm gonna talk to you. Find spirit wood nearby and drop it into the fire. Oh, I gotta find spirit wood? Uh oh! Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Okay, so grab that. Do I put it in you? Here, take this. What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. Eat it! And oh, he, oh, he look evil. I don't like that. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? I found it on the floor. From a bear in a ranger suit, a ghost. I'm gonna say that one. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until, until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Aww. Ah, that spirit wood has fully caught my fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see. Someone new. A crafter of useful things. Oh. The fuck? You just died, sir. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Thank you, Lottie. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. I have earned a new badge, log... Oh. Story advanced. Oh. Well, I didn't get to read what I that said. Oh. What the frick is going on here? Um. Uh, um. I got a... Um. That. Um. Click that shit, I guess. I don't... Okay. Um. I earned 100 old coins. What do I use them for, then? Oh, I gotta go this way. Charlotte! I'm gonna steal these coins from you. You Thank you. Don't let me like that, child. Oh, 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 grab that. Okay. Um, do I get to talk to you? What do I do? What would you like to do? Oh, I was just thinking of what? <laughs> you might notice the island's topography rearranged itself some days. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. Or rearranging itself. Hmm. Maybe normal is too strong of a word, but it certainly keeps happening. Uh, okay. Well, there's some coins this way. I'm gonna grab that, though. I do like me so oh, oh, grab that. The fuck is that? I don't want- I don't want- I, I kind of want to go to it at the same time, not really. Oh, no, come back! Come back! Oh, shit, no. I want to talk to them. Shit, you little shit. Well, I- I guess we're not gonna talk to them. We're gonna talk to this dude down here, though. I like it down there, though. How- okay, like that. Oh, and grab this bitch right here. Hey, hey, little shits. Fuck you, too. All right, little dude. Um. Oh, I guess you can see me. Oh, hi. Down there. So sorry. I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accept- You're sorry for what? Um. 
for haunting a perfectly good island. I mean, the last thing I want to do is drift around the afterlife, glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like your. Why do you keep looking at me like? Okay, it's unseemly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Will you guys, like, just, just, just stop doing stupid shit down there? Maybe I can make it up to you, Maker Buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Okay, you all need to, like, stop doing that down there. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay, now, come here. Let, let me get your ass. Okay, I need another branch, or three branches. Where do I find three branches? Uh, do I shake the trees? Do I look at this thing here? Do I go over this way? Hey guys, I need like, I need you to don't tell me- Well, fuck you too. Hide up there? How do, can I get it off there? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, maybe if I go up there, I can't go up there. Um, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Can I just like- Oh, no, I can't go. Okay, never mind. I just went the opposite of where I needed to go. And now it's raining again. Well, sh I got a coin for that, though. Um, oh, stick, stick, stick. Grab the stick. I got one branch. How nice. Um, oh, there's a dead thing down there. I mean, there's a skull down there. That's pretty damn cool. Can I touch it? In, like, a non-weird way? Hi. Hi. No. There's a lot of dead shit here. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Um... There's that dude. Oh, another stick, another stick, another- ooh, two more sticks, yay. Okay, I got three branch, dude. Jeremy, I have now accomplished getting the branches. Now what do I do? I'm gonna go this way just so they don't like look at me like up. Okay, I'm just gonna go scare them some more. Um, look at those- look at these sticks! What beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Sweet. Not my finest work. My paws keep slipping through the lath. But if you want to dig up the soft dearth mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. Dots. I'm still here, aren't I? Yes, you are. Darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log too. Thanks. Okay, well you go... Oh. Oh, 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 coins, 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 coins. Grab all that. You motherfuckers go away from my damn coins. Fuck you. Oh, there's, there's coins this way. Oh my god, y'all stay away from my damn coins. I'll kick your asses. Motherfucker trying to get my coins? I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm -mm, absolutely not. Get that bitch. Okay. So what is this? I got a rock. Alright then. Well, I mean... Oh, a potato! I got... No, I, I got a potato. I lied. I got a potato. And that is a turnip, obviously. Pretty, uh... Pretty self-explanatory there. Was there something down here? No. What was the first thing I saw? I thought it was down here, but maybe it, is, it wasn't. There's something up here, though. Is that a yam? A sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes. Y'all have no idea how much I love sweet potatoes. Alright, I'll, I'll look- I'll look for more stuff later, but he wants to talk to me right now. What do you like to do? Here's a log for you. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Well done! My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kid has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. Must be me though, because I'm pretty damn salty. And he has arrived. Something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear, what? Best go see for yourself what the fuck disappeared. F flamey. Flamey, I wasn't- okay. Well, I, I guess, uh... Oh, I have an achievement. Tutorial completer completed the introduction. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Um, what are you? Uh, okay, I, I guess I gotta go this way then. I got another potato. Oh, we gotta talk to Charlotte? 
Can I help you with something? Sometimes you find things on islands simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those and you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Oh. What'd she just give me? What is that? Oh. Uh, oh, 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 le oh, there's, okay, is that what they mean? Some leaves here? I don't... Oh! Oh, that's nice. I got a branch and... What the fuck was this? A mushroom. Oh, oh, but more coins. Get the fuck this way. Grab those. Grab those coins. Yeah. What the hell? Um, I mean, I, I got a potato. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, my boys. We're going this way instead. But I feel like we have to talk to these motherfuckers. Oh, 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 little shits. Oh, no, this guy right here. That's who we talking to. Hi. Can I pet them? Can I pet? Can I pet? I can't? Okay. Well, um... I, um... I guess we're talking to this guy here. I don't know. I want to pet whatever the fuck that is over there, but I guess we're not... In life, I was a bear of the sea. You look more like a seagull now, but you know. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again, a hundred times over. A natural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Oh, he was a bear. Uh, okay. I, um, I thought he was a seagull. And now I am trans- Oh, he's a seagull. Ah, he transformed to a seagull. Dots and exclamation points. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. Sorry, Captain Bill Weathers Snout. I am Captain Bill Weathers Snout, though some now call me the seagull bear. Um, pleased to meet you. Uh, ahoy, yeah, I'm gonna say ahoy, Captain. Ahoy indeed! That sounds nicer. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have, pre have precious little in common. Except, of course, for the love of fish. I mean, speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. Okay. Um, well, I need to get a fi How do I get a fishing rod? I also need to, like, look through leaves as well. What are those? I wanna like, you know, I wanna, I don't, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I wanna. Oh, I wanna dig that up though. I got... 100 old coins! Wait, I got a lot of that shit. Sweet. I like, I like getting shit. I like getting a lot of shit. Get him away, fox guy. Oh, there's a pile of leaves right there. I can get... Th and the bones too. That's kind of unsettling, but you know. We ain't gonna talk about that. I Maybe mean, a little bit, but you know. Okay, I got a mushroom and that. Yes, Softwood. Thank you for telling me what the hell I got. Why, well, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I mean, you better not repeat my name anyway, especially if especially my real name. You can call me Cass, but when you call me by my real name, I will I will kick a bitch ass. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Do you? Wherever you go, the Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Well, that sucks. Um, I gotta... Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. So how much is it? How much do I have 200 for? So I can actually, yeah, okay. I get part with this ocean fishing rod for 20 old coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Shut up and take my money. Sweet. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't know. Um, oh, I still need to find that, uh, what the frick is wrong with this tree? It's like bruised. Anyway, um, I dig that up. And then we're going back to this guy down. Actually, no, I'm gonna look. Eh, you know, I'm done looking around. Get away, you little shits. 
Okay. Well, sorry about that, seagull guy. Aye, sailor, that will do. That'll do nicely. Dots. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're gonna have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Uh, okay, I'll- okay. Oh. I mean, I'll do it. How do I fish? How do I fit? Okay, just, um... So, oh, 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 fish right here. Fish right here. So how do I- how do I cast it? How do I cast shit? Oh. Oh, double click my fishing rod. So where's my fishing rod? Right here. There you go. There you go. Oh, shit. That was too far. Oh, it sees it though. It sees it though. How do I catch it? Oh, shit. Um, oh, okay. I gotta wait for the little shit. Okay, okay. I, I, I see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing now. Okay, look at behind you. There There you go. There you go. Now, what do I do after it gets it? Now, how do I know that it's ready? Oh, okay. I got a shrimp. All right, then. Yay, olive wife. Huh? I mean, I got a shrimp for that. I think that's a shrimp child. But, you know, we're gonna- we're just gonna go with it. Okay, look at behind you, sir. There you go. Okay, so I gotta make sure it's- okay, I see what I need to do. It's too soft there. Alright, that's how I fish. Okay. Yeah, dead gar. I got a dead fish? Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty damn cool, I guess. I don't- I think- I think that should be good. I think that should be good in the hood. Get the fuck out of my ways, y'all. Hi! I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me one- the one you've caught, got, or catch a new one. I'll be waiting! So I guess- any fish. Okay, so I'm going to give you- Ah, a fine fin you've managed to drudge up there. Good eating. I think you and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea... Oh, where is my boat? That was I was wondering about that. Um, My boat did what? Ah, uh, yes. A loose knot in the fickle tide that was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. I was wondering what happened to it. Don't blame yourself. The island's a, ma a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find the measure of peace, none may leave this place. So I'm gonna die here, aren't I? <sighs> so, young slayer, sailor, though you're, living, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Well, that sucks. Whatever plans of hat you had of solving our ghostly problems in a single evening? Put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight pro project anymore. We're your neighbors, Squawk. Well, thanks for the fire uh, spirit wood, I, I guess. Um, uh, um, I'll put some coins here. Y'all get away from my damn coins. These are my coins. Bitch, 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 bitch. Get the fuck out of my coins. These are my coins, y'all. Fuck away from them. So I need to... Scare these bitches. Obviously give my dude more firewood, but you know. Um... Oh, I still need to find that, that thing for the one bitch right there. Okay, uh, hold on. No, no, no. I kind of forgot about you, Charlotte. I'm sorry. <laughs> this pile of leaves right there. Did I big... I don't know. Well, I didn't find it, but you know. Here's a log for you. Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sent at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. I gotta find some spirit logs. Okay, I guess we're gonna go find some spirit logs. Be patient, flamey guy. See, I was wondering what happened to my boat. I knew I had a boat, and I'm like, what the fuck happened to it? It, it, it flew away, or sailed away, I guess. Oh, well, there's a pile of leaves there. Get that. Oh! I got a wilderness guide. Sweet. So I got her stuff. Now get the fuck away from my shit. Um, I need to get the spirit logs. Give my girl Charlotte her, uh... Her, uh... Her, uh... Her guide. Girl, here's this for ya. That's it! Why, it's an old spirit scout wilderness guide! 
And hey, the Memento Collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their prog progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've gotten pretty good. You've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the Memento Collection book now? Yeah, sure, why not? That's the spirit. Here it is. So I got I got more spirits to find. Um. All right then. Well. Oh, oh, she gave me a spirit lock. Thanks for spirit wood. So now I gotta give some more to my homeboy right here. He said he wanted another one, so here you go, sir. Here's a log for you. Now, get it and eat it. Yay! Ah, uh, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Got a point there, Flamey. Help these bears, guide them through re remembering themselves, eventually they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. Can he bring me back my boat? You two have that in common, I think? Can he bring me back my, my boat? Because I'll appreciate that. Oh, is that it? Okay. Um, I, I guess he that way. No, it's, that's Charlotte. What do you need, Charlotte? Can I help you? you know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of young placid bird. If you bring- if you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. I gotta find the bird, okay. Hey! Hey, can I buy a bird from ya? Uh, you know what? Buy it. Jump and take my money. Purchase, thanks. But you know what? Um, Charlotte, here is your bird. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground... It transforms into its true self, a ghost bird! They're give if they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food they will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. Well, that sucks. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Uh, okay. Um, thanks for the spirit wood, I, gu I guess. Uh, um, so do I place it- okay, so- Um, place my bird here, maybe. I don't know. Where's my bird? So my bird- you good- oh, it's like donuts. Uh, okay. Here's a log. Gulp. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log that you're eager to give if you can help them. Okay, I'm gonna find some, some people to help then, I guess. Uh, that wasn't there before, was it? That lo Oh! It really wasn't. Why are you pissed? Oh, I, I was- okay. Well, I, I guess, um, they're having the fight over there. I didn't notice you, sir. I'm sorry. Male guy! Oh, I remember it. Okay. Patris Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. Quit being pissed off at who- what the fuck did he do? Or she- what the fuck do y'all- okay. <laughs> you know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivery mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Oh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Glad about that. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residents. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up whenever, wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning, looking for new arrivals. But I'd bet a spirit log down there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta find a skull. I mean, I know exactly where the skull is, because, you know... What the fuck is that? Um, I saw some eyes there, y'all. I know for a fact that I saw some damn eyes there. There it is, there is the skull. Um, I mean that... Um, okay, oh, well, maybe it's over this way, there's a skull right there. Um, um, okay, um... Uh, uh, um... I guess ask these guys? Uh, a chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Well, I guess find some feathers for this bitch. Can you help with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? For what? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First though, I'm going to need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. I mean, I, I got, um, several of those. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered. And I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself? Maybe? My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Oh, okay. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Appreciate you, Jeremy. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Oh, let's well make something. Great, let me show you my workshop. So I, I can make a chair. Let's craft a chair here. Crafted! Oh, I got a chair. Sweet. Okay, well, I, I guess... Oh, thanks for all the shit you just gave me. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, there's a feather. There's a feather. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Yeah, I got a feather. It's a log. Delicious. Three more logs. It's four logs. Oh, I thought that was... Okay. Of course, it's raining now. Um... Oh, oh, feather, feather, feather. Grab that. I want to know what you're pissed about. I, I'm just, I'm curious. Come back here. I'm, okay. Well, I don't want to do that. So, um, oh, more feathers. I got three of them so far, sir. You're going to have to be patient with my ass, though. Uh, what's this? Can I grab that? Can I have that? I can. I can have a seashell. Sweet. Now, they said... The package was near a skull, but that's, like, the only skull I can find. Like, you know, skull on a stick is what he said. Is that a feather right there? It is! Grab that. Okay, I need one more feather. And I still need to find that, uh... The pack- oh. What is can I grab that? Oh! Uh, okay, well, there that is. Um... Well, here's your package, sir. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Did you fail it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. And that's what the USD is. Sorry, that's postal slang. Unidentified Supernatural Deliveries, a.k.a. USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramek or spewing demon fire, oh. Well, you just send that puppy my way. Um... Uh, I don't think I want to send that puppy your way. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. 
Oh. I got two letters. Um, hey, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I vote to include a little thank you gift for your help. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find the needy ghost immediately. I'll inten I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. And when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write you every day unless I get busy. Alright then, well. Thanks, Scoutmaster Blake, I guess. Um, thanks for the spirit logs, too. Or spirit wood, whatever. What was I looking for again? Oh yeah, the, the last feather. I need one more feather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find this feather. And then I'm gonna quit the game. Because I feel... I'm at a good stopping point. Can I buy a feather from him? Can I buy a feather from your ass? No? Okay, never mind. Which I don't want to, I'm gonna have to, uh... But I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. Um, okay, so thanks for um, telling me where the hell to go. Oh, th good gemstones. Oh, oh my gosh, really? Right? Really? Okay, well, I mean, I guess you have feathers now. So, uh. Squawk, that's a fine set of feathers. But why bother help him, helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly, I guess. Har neighborly. You might find some what put stock in that concept here on Crazy Gro Cozy Grove. But it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank you. <laughs> With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind's bite doesn't lose its teeth. Does lose its teeth, I mean. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot re-feather your wings. Well, that sucks. Can I still- Oh, thanks for the spirit log, though. I appreciate the spirit wood. Well, here's another, uh... Spirit log for ya. More! Just one final log and I'll be full. Well, uh, okay, I'll go find someone who's eager to, for help from me, okay. Is it the mail guy? The post guy? It is. Ha ha. But you know what I, what I said, guys? Y'all know what I said. Y'all know. I want to know what the fuck he's so mad about still. It's gonna find the last feather and then continue this on another time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to part two. Or two. It went not, not three. Two. Of Cozy Grove. And you know that, you know that, uh, season four of Ghosts coming on tomorrow. Look forward to that. Because I know I will. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. How the fuck do I enter this shit? There we go. That sounds delicious.